just uh, a lot of excitement here to just kick off the day here. Yeah, Aven, Aven get, getting the escape. He's put on a very good showing despite the fact that it's not the 15th ranked. It's on top of Miller, planting his face into the ground. He's grabbing a leg that way about 40 seconds here remaining in the third period. As both men are trying to regain that last point, heading towards the boundary. Miller keeping a leg in. And, at, and Aven from the top trying to grab both of Miller's ankles, try and keep him from his return position. And Aven going to flip around. He's got a two-point takedown for Aven. Great move there. He's able to step. Say wrestling, University Nationals, wrestling, University Nationals, All-American in 2015 and 2017. And a quick takedown there, uh, attempt from uh, Ezra Oliver as he tries to re reset his position, basically planted on his head. Feels like Wells trying to, trying to get behind Oliver, but Oliver's got his legs wrapped around. It's going to take down for Wells as he's able to step. And grabbing a leg is well, so he's, he's, he gets a takedown, lifting a leg. And Welch dies again at Oliver's leg. Oliver is able to keep himself, escape for Oliver. He's able to stand up and turn around. It looks like Welch kind of gave him that one a little bit. Oliver's looking a little groggy after that hit, hit, hit to the chin. And it's another takedown for Luke Welch as he's able to establish. He's trying to get an escape. And that's going to be an escape for Thornton. That's going to be huge towards the final score for Ben Thornton. They're trying to work him out of bounds, and that's going to do it. Ben. But not letting him do that is Weaver as he's able to grasp around his torso. Lennox trying to break his, break his hands off him, but he's having no luck there as Weaver's grasp is too good. But then he's going to slip out of there as he's able to get one of them. Back to this matchup, but everyone waiting, anticipating. Oh, here we go. Here, here we go. The crowd's starting to wake up a little bit. And it's going to be a two-point takedown for Limex with 45, 43 seconds left to go. And as you mentioned before, the, and he, he is your winner, and Cole Weaver has dropped back-to-back -back matches. Both of them in the third period, but what a battle that was coming down to the final period. Of and he, he is your winner, and Cole Weaver has dropped back-to-back -back matches. He's trying to flip around on Nash, trying to keep his body to the ground. And Trying to wrap his legs around Nash. And oh, Nash trying to flip it around onto Raya. Now oh, Nash is starting to gain game position. And they're going to award two point take hands to break the hold from Austin Nash. Now Nash looking to get a takedown from Raya, but Raya able to keep his body in front. And that's going to be a two point takedown from Nash. A great job. That's a lot of wins. Yeah, very, very decorated wrestler at Hamilton Southeastern High School in Fishers, Indiana. And Perriott's going to get another from Perriott. Like you said, not missing a beat from that injury. Looking quite dominant in that performance. Yeah, he looked fantastic there. Or one would not have guessed that was only his second match back from injury. And now we're at the, we're at the 165 weight with Dylan Hoy. He is a true freshman from Chicago, Illinois, attending Mount Carmel High School. He is 8 and 13 on the year with one tech fall and three pins in the year. And last time, and two. Always. And Hoy better be careful. His, his shoulders were pretty close to the mat right there, but he's able to slip out of it, able to keep his shoulders up. And he's in his fourth year, a 35 and 29 career record in his four years at Purdue. He, both men attended Iowa as we get a look here at the takedown from Dylan Lighty on Devin Skatska that knotted this thing up back in the second period, and he's able to reestablish the position recruiting class from Ursland. You know, that, uh, as they've patched up Skatska, they're going to resume match about a minute to go. Lighty going for a quick leg on Skatska, but Skatska is not giving it to him. He wraps his arm around Skatska's neck. And it's going to be a two-point takedown for Lighty as... Skatska doing what he needs to do and be aggressive here. That's going to be take down for Lighty as Skatska whipped on the oh, uh, diving at at the legs of Lighty, yeah, that really really cost him in the end. So you got Claymore on in sort of a figure four leg lock there as he's able to establish position in for the last 20 seconds or so. Looks like he's trying to roll Claymore onto his back, trying to get the Claymore's neck wrapped around his arm. 
trying to avoid the pin is Bruner. Excuse me, his claim will have Bruner trying to get his shoulders to the ground. And that's going to be another near fall, and that's going to do it. That's going to result in a tech fall for, uh, for Christian Bruner, and it's going to be a victory for the Purdue Boilermakers, who just absolutely squashed their in-state rivals, Indiana, by a score.